Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be talking about fungal infections in fish. Now this is mostly going to focus on freshwater fish because in saltwater fish we don't see fungal infections very often because of the salt in the environment. Uh, fungus really does not like salt. Now a lot of the times Funguses are secondary to other fun primary stressors. Uh, pretty much you're in an aquatic environment, it's a great place for funguses to grow, uh, especially water molds, which are the most common type. And these really, really love dead skin and fins. So if you have a patch of skin on your fish that has maybe been traumatized, you put something on it you shouldn't have, um, essentially this is a very obvious place for fungus to grow. Now, a lot of the times it's just going to eat the dead stuff and then fall off as the new stuff grows in. There are a couple of dangerous fungi that we see in fish, um, usually not in pet fish, we see this more in aquaculture. Um, and again, as, as being kind of, you know, a secondary sign of a lot of other primary stressors, it's really important that you are able to identify why your fish has dead skin. Obviously trauma, very obvious. Once they heal up, no need to worry about it. Um, no trauma, um, again, that fish might be having some immune issues and there's a whole host of things to choose from, number one being water chemistry. So if you start to see fungus on your fish, make sure that you check your water chemistry. Um, a lot of people are very tempted to snip the fungus off, um, especially if it's on a tail or a fin. Um, please resist doing this, um, especially if there's underlying issues. You could be putting your fish at serious risk, um, mostly bleeding out if you hit a blood vessel. So if you are concerned about fungus and your fish has not actively been undergoing trauma, your water chemistry is okay, it's very important that you talk to your veterinarian to make sure that it's treatly, safely, easily, and isn't columnaris. So columnaris is actually a bacteria that looks like a fungus. Fun, huh? Yeah, fish are crazy. Um, so very easy diagnostic test to discern the two. Obviously a fungus looks like a fungus, columnaris looks like columnaris. So please resist the temptation to cut because if it's columnaris, it's not going away. <laughs> Um, please contact your local aquatic veterinarian to make sure that your fish is treated as safely and effectively. So hopefully we've taught you something about fungus and its fun bacterial doppelganger, columnaris. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.